What are we doing today, Father? Uh, going back at the old Optimax. So what we have is a lower crank seal that's leaking. So we've got a split power head. Yep. Split line is here. Studs run through into the adapter plate. So there's 10 16 mil nuts here on these 10 mil studs or whatever. So there's, uh, oh, where are they all? Yeah, a couple up of them. there, yeah. Them all the way around. So we gotta get those off. Okay. Gotta take the thermostat hoses off. Okay. Gotta put the, uh, I think this will be like water return off the compressor here or something. Sure. Okay. And uh, then there's a, uh, I believe this uh, hose beside the flush hose has to come off. Okay. Right on. No, that is the flush hose. Sorry, yep. right there. Yep. yep. Okay. And then this is the exhaust relief. I think they call it. Okay. Yep. So we're gonna we're gonna so that, separate the power head from the leg. Yeah. So then the, this is the uh, excess air. Yep. Goes into the so it's from the compressor, but yep. into the air side of the okay. rail. Goes yep. into the adapter plate. And this is the the uh, strainer which supplies water to the compressor. Yep. To okay. this line, and then behind here is a strainer that you need to pull out occasionally gotcha. and gotcha. and clean her out, which gotcha. is full of weeds and stuff. Gotcha. So that stuff has to come off. We have to take the shift linkage off, yep. which is this boomerang piece going in there. Yep. You could take it off in there, but without having the lower unit in it, it probably well, the rod would likely fall through. Not gotcha. sure about that, but it probably. So gotcha. we're going to take her off here okay. and drop her down. And there's. Uh, so all of this, we're going to do what we're doing to separate the power head from the leg so we can replace the lower crank seal and, and the, have to put a new gasket the, in the upper, the power head gasket, the power head gasket right? Here. Okay, yeah. cool. Up in here where she splits. Cool. 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 So now we're going to get a lifting eye on it. Yes, that too. Get the hoist and lift it. That's, I think I'm getting slung around by the, by the crankshaft, you know. That's DFI oil there. Yeah. But this whole, like the whole thing is wet, but if it was dripping onto the drive shaft and getting slung around, there is a little bit right there, but um, I gotta think it'd be the main, like the, the seals. What is it? What's going on? This is your lower main bearing end cap. Keeps, uh, so there's two seals right here, back to back. Mm -hmm. Lips facing down. Yep. And you can see that right there, that's all rubber debris. That is that has worked its way through the seal. And that's why most likely it's partially leaking, I guess. But um, some of that's a little bit of grease, but there's rubber mixed in there. You can feel it right in your fingers when you touch it. So it's uh, it's, it's, it's it's somehow worked past the seal. That's, been laying like after that thing had a it had a catastrophic belt failure went through the intake through the reed system into the motor and some of that has obviously fallen down and collected up at the bottom of the and what are we going to do about it what we're going to do about it is we're going to uh, clean this all up and we have new seals new o-ring we're going to clean out the the crank uh, end of their stub or whatever where the spline is for the drive shaft to go in and clean it up really good clean all these surfaces up really well put a new o-ring in her put two new seals in her with a little bit of 271 loctite around the exterior press them in back to back tight and uh get everything good and dry in there lube her up with some uh 24c in here between the lips and some uh two stroke oil around the and then, re and then reinstall. Reinstall. We're reinstall. Gonna have a look at these flanges right here. Make sure everything's flat, not twisted or bent or been torqued or something's happened. And have a quick look at the bottom, and then reinstall her. Right on. And 
<laughs> Hopefully she doesn't leak. But somebody's been in here recently because I think that's a, this is a newer, I think it's a new gasket, just the way it came off. Yeah, because it came apart in one piece. One piece wasn't stuck to the power head or to the, so we'll, we'll find out when we get the new one out of the package and see if she's got similar numbering on it and stuff, but it does to me seems like it probably has been been replaced. So I don't know whether they were in here doing the crank seals or what was happening or the next thing that could have happened that you don't know about is that might not be the original power head. It's a possibility it doesn't show up on the Merc stuff like on the hours when that power head's been replaced. Oh, okay. So like even though it's got 380 hours, it could have had a power head at a couple hundred hours or something and and maybe that's why it's been like that. Who knows? As per Mercury's recommendation, we've sanded any rough areas out of it. That's some zinc primer on there. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of engine paint just because it wants a really smooth, a really smooth, clean surface for uh, the new powerhead gasket. Only on the uh, adapter plate. Only on the adapter plate though. The bottom on of the, the block. The bottom of the block, I've just gone and just given that a light Scotch brighting with a very fine Scotch bright just to clean it and make sure there's no mung or anything like that. And then, yeah, we should be uh, ready to put the uh, end, cap end, end cap back on it, slide a new gasket up there, put it all back together, and job done. What are you doing? I'm lubricating up this groove here. To do what? Put that o ring on it. Hopefully without damaging it in any way. This is just a high performance. Uh, <laughs> high performance. <laughs> premium plus. High performance. Two stroke. According to the service manual, this is what they want you to put on this little spot. Next round, <coughs> a little bit of two, four, C. <coughs> What you see you going to the hybrid. Then some chapstick. Gonna put some chapstick on her. Blue chapstick. Mm -hmm. Just need a what kinds of colors? A little dab on uh that these bolts without touching them the
Hello, viewer. It's Editing Desk Kyle. I'm actually just finishing up editing the video that you just watched right now. I realized I didn't film anything at the time to neatly tie this one up, so here we are. I just wanted to uh, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this content, I encourage you to leave a like on the video and possibly consider subscribing. This is not the end of the journey with this motor. There are more videos to come on it, so if you like watching us work on broken Optimaxes or you have a broken Optimax yourself and you want to learn something, feel free to uh, watch along or ask us questions. Uh, my father is always very active in the comments section and he is uh, uh, very knowledgeable on these now and I think if you asked him, he would say that he wished he wasn't. Uh, so yeah, that's a wrap on this video. I'll have another one uploaded shortly. Um, YouTube says that this video down here, maybe if I'm pointing in the right spot, might be to your taste as well for my channel. And uh, if you want to subscribe, click on this one right here. So thanks for watching. And until the next time, we'll see ya.